These are native stingless bees, which means they can't sting. And it makes it easy to rob their honey. About the best they can do is smother you in sticky bees. But what does their honey taste like compared to regular honeybee honey? G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, we're going to find out what stingless native honey tastes like compared to regular bee honey. Let's get into it. Oh, oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, don't grip it, don't grip it. This is expensive stuff. You know what? It tastes like an old boy's port, like a liqueur port. Absolutely delicious. Fantastic over ice cream. Let's not deliberate on it right now. Let's put this back together because it is winter time here and these native Australian bees don't like the cold that much even though they're active at the moment because it is mid-morning and it's warming up. It's still not good to keep this hive open for too long and then we can have a chat about it and do a proper taste test alongside regular honey. Put him on nice and square. What this here is, is an extra honey super. You can see what I showed you was the honey super filled up, full of honey, ready to be harvested. But this isn't the time of year to harvest the honey. So what we've done is we've put another honey super on top of that so it can build up even further until we can then harvest some of this honey, not all of it, once the weather warms up again. Cool. Now before we get into a comparison taste test of native bee honey and regular bee honey, I should let you know that I'm no expert in native beekeeping, or beekeeping in general to be honest. I'll tell you who is an expert though, that's my uncle who gave me this hive and we used to have oh, up to 20 or maybe more, I think it was more than that at one stage on our property of these native bee hives but they were all my uncles and he used to keep them out here because he lives in suburbia and he'd travel out here to care for them and look after them and check on them and harvest the honey if he needed to and multiply the hives, split the hives. And I've done videos on that before if you wanna check them out. So he decided to move the hives back into suburbia where he could keep a closer eye on them and maintain them. I'm happy to answer general questions about keeping native bees in the comments section below, but if you've got any technical questions or if you indeed want to buy one of these hives, my uncle has all that information. He sells them as well, and his details are in the description below. I've got the honey here. What a better place to taste it than right on top of a beehive. Here we've got regular honey and uh, I'll just have a play with it to let you know the viscosity of it, how thick it is. See that? And here we have some what they call sugar bag honey. And I'm going to pour it into here so you can see the viscosity of it. This actually has been kept in the fridge so it's a little cool. So let me pour this in. See how easy that runs and see how easy it stops and just drips. Not like regular honey, is it? I mean, it is, but you can see how that you can roll that around. So I'll get my spoon. It has a really strong aroma, a really strong wine aroma. See how it's a lot looser. It's a lot more viscous. It's got a, um, it's got a honey-like taste, yeah? It tastes like honey. It tastes more like a strong syrup to me. But it's definitely honey. You can, you can, you can taste like honeybee honey in it. And it's really nice. I mean, really nice stuff. I mean, sorry, I'm just gonna finish this off. Now let me just show you the bee honey again. Regular bee honey, local bee honey. See that? You can see the difference. Let me taste it. It isn't as strong. 
it is more I would say it's it's kind of sweeter in a way it's more what I'm used to honey honey this is closer to a sugar syrup taste like a glucose taste to me that's what it is it's more glucosey in my mind than the native bee honey that's what it is yeah yeah very interesting if you get the chance to taste native bee honey i'd certainly recommend it but there is a point that i need to mention and that is native bees they only produce about a kilo of honey in a 12 month period so that's not a lot and if you're going to harvest the honey from these types of beehives you have to be careful because if you harvest too much you could leave them without food and you could kill the hive well the other thing is when you harvest the honey if you do it the wrong way it can actually drown the hive and kill it off as well so that wouldn't be a good thing so there are some finicky points with keeping native bees for their honey like i said i don't generally keep them for the honey as good as the honey is and how unique it is it's not something that it really interests me i might buy some of that honey or get it from my uncle because he's got heaps of hives and he does it for that purpose but me personally i'm more interested in keeping them for what they do to my garden rather than what they can give me in a honey can't waste any of it it's actually quite expensive because it's such a rare thing and in demand and you can't get a lot of it it's a bit like liquid gold it's very expensive and it's good for you too and there you have it that's what native bee honey tastes like i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big sticky thumbs up and also share the video around and subscribe if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching bye for now Oh, don't forget those details below.